Mobile One above the Patello Bridge. I'm Susie Patrick. Family physician and mind-body medicine practitioner, Dr. Divi Shandna, joins us this morning. We were saying this is the perfect day for this segment because it is gloomy out there. It's going to be getting dark early, and I think the winter blues are kind of setting in for some people already. Yeah. Yeah. What can we be doing now, if it hasn't hit yet, to maybe stave it off a little bit longer or get ourselves back in happier modes? Right. It's a great question. At this time of year... Time just changed, we're gonna get darker every night. So one of the biggest things I tell people is to get outside. A lot of people go from their homes to their cars, to their elevator, to work, and back again. So they actually don't get outside. The more they can get outside, the more they're gonna feel better. So just getting outside, getting a bit of fresh air, and it's really normal to get into that pattern I just described. But if you can break it, just get outside for five to 15 minutes a day, it makes a huge difference. The fresh air, seeing the greenery, it makes night and day difference. Does that mean go for a walk? Does that mean just sort of, how much outdoor activity do you need to do? Yeah, it can be anything. Going for a walk is a great idea. But this leads me to the second point, which is to exercise. So getting outside, going for a walk, great idea. Going for a run, going for a bike ride, getting a yoga class. Anything you can do to get yourself outside feeling good. If you're going to the gym all the time, just make sure to get outside. Go for a walk. But they have studied and shown that regular exercise done 20 to 30 minutes, three or four times a day, three or four times a week, actually increases serotonin. And that serotonin increase actually increases our mood. It helps us to feel Feel better and it's a natural antidepressant so whatever people can do get outside get some exercise you'll feel good right away it's more natural to stay inside because you're used to being indoors and clumping on the couch but if you forget about the exercise what will happen is you'll feel more and more down each day if you do decide to take this on will you notice a difference right away Great question. Usually not right away, but usually within about three or four weeks, you will notice that you're going to feel better. But it does take a little bit of time, a little patience, a little bit of practice, and with that, you will start to notice a lift in your mood. So you need to make a commitment to it the first few times if you go out. What about what we... Oh, look, we want to tell people, if you have a question, please call in. Um, what about... What we're eating at this time of year, a lot of comfort food and food that makes you want to stay on the couch. Yeah, Halloween just passed. I don't know about you, but I've got a stack of sugar in my house too. But a lot of times when we get into comfort mode, we tend to grab the chips. We tend to grab the pre-preserved foods. And as a result, what happens is we're eating more chemically driven foods. People who are really, really sensitive, if they eat a lot of chemicals, what happens is they get actually more depressed and more sad and more tearful. So it's a really good idea is to shop around the grocery store, do more fruits, do more vegetables, do more water. A lot of people associate summer with those fruits and vegetables and drinking water. But in winter, it's just as important. Good to know. Uh, vitamin D and light therapy. Are vitamin D supplements worth it? Great question. It depends who you talk to. A lot of people say that vitamin D, anywhere from 400 units to 4,000 units a day, makes a huge difference. People with classic seasonal affective disorder, 70% of them will notice a difference with vitamin D and light therapy. So it's a huge statistic. So vitamin D you can get in your diet. So, you know, vitamin D formulated... Um, supplemented in milk and orange juices, they can help, but a lot of people don't get the vitamin D that's required. And with days like today where there's a lot of gray, we can go days and weeks without seeing sunshine, so vitamin D supplementation can really help. Light therapy is another thing that's been found to be very helpful for seasonal depression. Light therapy boxes can be bought at Canadian Tire or Home Depot. And what these light boxes do when you sit in front of it for 15 to 30 minutes, what they do is they stimulate the brain to thinking is feel better mode. They think that it ups the serotonin, and when it ups the serotonin, people will feel better. So getting a light box if you have seasonal depression can make a huge difference. What's the difference between one of these light boxes and turning the light on? Oh, it's a huge difference. We don't actually know the exact difference, but it's thought that the light boxes stimulate a different UV light, which affects our brain differently. Yeah, interesting. So it may be worth investing in that. We do have a caller this morning. Um, are you with us? Vi from Fort St. John, what is your question this morning? Hi, good morning, ladies. I'm wondering if with the seasonal depression, if doing a full body cleanse would be beneficial. 
Great question, Vi. Some people do benefit from cleanses, different types. Some people actually feel worse with cleanses. So it really depends person to person. If you're new to cleanses, which a lot of viewers probably are, I don't suggest go and buy a cleanse and do it right away because that might be too big of a jump. Just do things like eat more fruits and vegetables one day. Maybe eat a little bit less meat or a little bit less processed food one day. And then work your way up to a cleanse. But some people do find cleanses really help them. I have had some clients who say cleanses actually make them feel worse. Good to know. Yeah. Thank you very much for your call, Vi. We want to return to some other tips for seasonable, seasonal depression. Meditation. Yeah, it's my favorite one. <laughs> Meditation and mindfulness, to me, is one of the most important ones of the five that I've listed. And it's the one that people forget the easiest. Meditation mindfulness is just about staying present in the moment right now, being aware of how you feel right now. Most of us, when something occurs, like we go outside on a day like today, we might feel awful. So there's little gap between the event and the response. There's actually little gap, if none at all. What I teach people is I teach people how to increase that gap. So people come to the workshops to learn how to increase the gap. So if they have an event, they can have a different response on purpose. It does take practice, but with neuroplasticity, they're finding that when people actually feel better more often on purpose they actually can increase their emotional response so imagine if you went outside today and went wow it's great but you know what it's gonna be a great day cuz I'm gonna put my rain gear on and get outside and hop in the puddles you would feel better yeah. good to know we do have one more call Leanna from Burnaby good morning Leanna hi good morning what is it your question I am suffering now it's about three weeks from sciatic nerve pain in my back Ooh. What's the best way to deal with it? Great question. Great question, Anna. So one thing we always suggest for people with sciatica is, well, one thing is rest, and it sounds like you've already done that for a few weeks. Now I don't know if you've done this, but physiotherapy is an excellent form. Sometimes massage really helps. Some people find gentle yoga, like restorative yoga, to be very, very helpful, but movement is very helpful for sciatica, but not sitting on the couch the whole time. So you've probably gone through the rest phase. Now it's probably a time to move gently and with awareness. All right, Leanna, we hope you feel better soon. Yeah. Thank you for your call. And if you have more questions for Dr. Shamna, check out her website, drdivi.com. Next weekend, veterinarian Dr. Andrew Forsyth joins us. If you have questions about your pet, send an email to weekendnews at globaltv.com. Thank you, as always, for coming in. Let's head over to Sony Beaksmo one more time with a look at our small town.